Hey you guys, it's me Skater Gator and I'm going to go through some warm up exercises with you. Today we're going to do slide board and I'm going to show you some technical elements of slide board. Um, I'm at home and I just have some props that I'm going to use today. Um, today I will be using a broom. Everybody should have one in your household. If not, what do you do with your lives? Um, the second thing I'm going to have, well obviously is a slide board. I'm going to have my wool socks. Uh, a lot of people have wool socks. Um, I know people use other things to use slide board, but anyhow, I have wool socks. I have furniture movers. You can also get the fuzzy ones um, for hardwood flooring. And I also have some bands that I'm going to use. A lot of people fail to warm up their hips properly, so I'm going to show you some exercises that will help you with that and not be so sore the next day. Okay, so first of all, um, now you can either do this with the furniture movers or you guys that are watching um, and doing slide board. Um, let's put your, go ahead and put your socks on. And um, I might have to move the camera just to get a better angle. Um, but, uh, Anyhow, we're going to do some lunges, both laterally and, um, and front to back. And then we're also going to, we're going to warm up and stretch the hip flexors. A lot of people um, just stretch without warming up. I do not believe in that at all. I believe in a lot of um, just mobile activity, warm up and flexibility together. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is just a simple lunge. And it's kind of like a lunge back, but I'm going to show you the angle. Um, so you can also pause this video at any moment to do a few sets or reps, um, whatever you're doing by yourself at home or with the group. So you're going to put, I have my slide board set up. You're going to put one foot in on the end of your slide board and one foot on your slide board and switch feet. And I'm going to show you kind of a backward lunge and a side lunge. Um, that's the flexibility and strength part, okay? So this is a good one um, to warm up with if you haven't warmed up at all. So my sideboard is facing this way. This is the carpeting right here. Put your toe onto the sideboard, and you're just gonna lunge back. Now, uh, my power is coming from right underneath my booty. Okay. You don't want to go so far back because it strains a lot of muscles that you might not have uh, used in a while. You don't want to go so far forward because it puts a lot of strain on your knee. Okay, You're compressing like a spring. Straight down, straight up. And do this slowly. Don't rush. You want to do it controlled. You can put your arms here or on your back and switch feet. Okay? Also, see what I look like from the front? My knee is going to go straight forward. So not out to the side, not inward, this way. You gotta keep it straight on a straight plane both legs. If you have a mirror, that's optimal. Um, if you don't, then I actually have my iPad set up and I can see my positioning perfectly. Um, you don't have to watch yourself 100% of the time, but check yourself. Check your positioning. Everything I do in this video will all be checking position. Okay? The other, the other lunge we're going to do is lateral. So this time you're going to face forward, so your foot can move to the side. Now, um, you can't see on this video, but I'm going to put my toes right up to the edge of my slide board, right up to the front. Um, this creates a line that your toe can follow, and all through this exercise, um, you're going to be pushing straight to the side. So when you're pushing, 
A lot of people, people push at a 45 degree angle back. You want to practice pushing directly to the side. Um, when you're in gameplay or when you're skating, it won't always necessarily happen, but that's the habit that you want to practice when you're doing off skates. Okay? So you want to line your toes up directly forward, and as you lunge to the side, don't let your foot move to the outer or the inside leg. See my knee position? It's going to go directly straight, down, and up. So this leg is straight and this leg is straight. Don't overextend. If you overextend, you're going to twist. I only want you to go as far as you can while maintaining a good upper body position. Square shoulders, hips, knees, toes, nice and relaxed. And then switch. So go ahead and pause the video. Um, if you haven't done your forward lunges, go ahead and do them. And then a few lateral lunges. Um, you can also grab your med ball or anything heavy in the house, anything that you can grab. Okay? Once you get warmed up, do your lateral and do your forward. So anyhow, remember, keep your shoulders, your hips, and your knees, and your toes all pointing forward. Um, only push out as far as your body will let you without twisting any of those um, parts, okay? So once again, pause and go ahead and try a few. Try a few with some weights, and that'll get you started on the warm-up process. Okay, now um, I'm getting to the part where I use um, some bands, and a lot of people don't have them, but they're so cheap to get. Um, if you've done any sort of therapy or rehab, you've used these. Um, I suggest using them for strength training um, in addition to going to the gym. Um, a lot of people just think, put on the heavy weights without um, really training those smaller muscles that keep you stable and keep your core strong. So just, if you haven't started yet, just simply start with some side steps. Um, I can also do a whole video on, uh, on bands. I love using bands because I can travel with them and you know I've traveled to a lot of places around the world, but um, these have become my best friend. Um, so again, if you have them, great. If not, then you can skip this section. Um, but anyhow, just start with them either around your knees or around your ankles. Um, around your ankles, it'll be uh, more of a challenge. Okay? And all you're gonna just do side steps. If you're at home and you have a limited amount of space, toes forward, hips forward, shoulders forward. And you're just stretching that band out as far as it'll go with maintaining your position. Okay, so don't reach. Okay, no overextending. Just keep it small. Small and compact. Okay, you're working a lot of muscles um, at one time. So for right now, this is basic warm-up. Just start with that. So the next thing we're gonna do is start to engage the core and the upper body and um, also the hip flexors. I know that when people start skating, those are also very sore. Um, so there's also some ab exercises that you, could, you can do on your slide board. Um, in skating, a lot of your power comes from tucking your hips underneath you. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Uh, a lot of people do this with um, with an exercise ball or with um, or with furniture movers, sliders. Um, if you already have your slide board out, you can do the same thing. Um, and I'll show you some basic, and then we'll move into more challenging one. Again, pause this video when you get the gist of it and do a few or do a couple sets, okay? So here we go. So I'm at the end of my slide board and it's long ways this way. 
put your toes right at the end and you're going to go into a plank on your hands or on your elbows. I know people have a hard time with their wrists. Um, so I'll do it like this. So the first thing you're going to do is tuck your hips under and the goal is to remain over your hands. So um, if you flop on your belly during this exercise, it's going to hurt really bad. Okay? So just be a little careful. So you can get into a plank and pull your knees directly underneath your chest. And you're, and you're trying to tuck your pelvis under. Um, I know that's like kind of opposite of weightlifting or doing a squat, but in skating you want to tuck your pelvis under to remain in like an aggressive position while you're skating, okay? So you tuck your hips under, do a few sets of those, and then also you can go into mountain climbers. Again, keeping your hips stable without hurting your wrists. Don't go too fast. You can, well, you can go fast if you want to use it as a speed workout, but it's not necessary. Um, I'm going to show you another really, really good one. It's an advanced one um, for a little bit of flexibility. Okay, so again, you're in a plank position. And this time, you are going to Put your feet out and together, okay? And you can also do a push-up. Out, push-up, out, push-up. Now we're going to do a, <laughs> we're also going to do a tuck with that, okay? So. You're going to tuck your knees forward, out, push up, tuck, out, push up, tuck, out, push up. Okay, so that's another advanced way um, to do some core and your hip, uh, engage your hip flexors before you start your slide board. Okay, so pause this video. Um, get your slide board socks on if you haven't, and set up your slide board. Um, we're going to get started in some positional things. Okay, now that you're pretty much warmed up, um, again, you can do that, um, uh, do a circuit another time through with the lunges and the core exercises. Um, but now I want you to grab um, your brooms, and if you don't have one, it's okay. You can do it without it by simply just putting your arms out. Um, again, this is to check your position while you're sliding and you get to the end of the board and you need to regroup. Um, anyhow, so get your brooms. And again, shoulders, hips, knees, and toes. Um, go ahead and bend down. And remember those circles? We're going to go back, together, push across. Pause, together, push across. Notice how the broom isn't tilting side to side. You're just keeping it straight. You're also not twisting. It's going straight across. the board and regrouping with your upper body position and your hip position and your toes okay um, just start going a little straighter and um, in the next video I'll show you what to do with your recovery leg and how to make those um, circles and create a little bit more power okay so in this exercise I'm going to show you how to do um, foot circles and um, generate a lot more power. The only thing is you might whip across the board a little faster than you're used to 
and if you throw your leg the wrong way, you're going to twist and fall. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to not die while doing slide board and creating a lot of momentum. Um, the first exercise I'm going to have you do is just a simple foot circle. So you're going to have one foot off the board. So I have one foot on the carpet, and the other foot, my free leg, is going to make a circle. So notice the direction of my toe. Out and underneath. Out and underneath. Without moving my upper body at all. Creating circles. Okay. Um, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, take off one of your shoes, the foot that you're, sta uh, the foot that you're standing on. Take off that shoe and that'll create a little bit of instability. So pause the video, do it on both sides, and just, uh, you know, again, just do about 10 circles each leg and switch. And then I'll show you how to do that. Uh, okay, here we go. So by now you've warmed up, uh, done your lunges, and you've practiced pushing directly to the side. You've also done foot circles with your toes facing forward. Now you're, gonna, now you're going to put all of those things together. And when you get to the end of the board, I want you to pause. Upper body movements are still. And I want you to do one or two foot circles before you push off. So your feet are gonna go out, around, and push to the side, okay? So it's a circle and push to the side. And uh, hopefully you can see my feet all right, but again, just work on circling and then pushing. Um, hopefully you have somebody with you or a mirror. Um, but anyhow, let's get started on that. You can only see one side of the board, so I'm gonna get back over here as soon as possible and show you what I mean, okay? So stand on the board, one side. You can have your hands here or behind your back or you can swing them if it doesn't confuse you. I'll put my hands here for now. So you're gonna do a circle, pause, and push to the other side. Okay, pause, circle, push. Circle, push. Circle, push. For some of you, it might be challenging, but either way, toes straight, shoulders and hips are not moving, they're facing forward, and you're pushing directly to the side. So those are some of the things that you need to focus on when you're beginning slide board. Proper warm up, proper upper body position. Again, you have your broom to kind of guide you. If you don't have a mirror, then you can kind of feel if it's tilting or twisting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what slide board looks like while using the broom and maybe doing a couple of foot circles in between. So, this is what it looks like. So, proper body position. My broom is uh, straight. I'm gonna do a couple foot circles and push. Pausing, staying low. I'm not going up and down. Toes straight, push. Toes straight, together, push. It's important that your feet come together before you push. If you start your push and your leg is out here, Uh, I mean, I went somewhere, but a lot of people wouldn't, but, and they probably fall. So, do some foot circles together and push to the side. Now, when you put it all together, um, I can show you what it would look like in full motion. Um, if you're practicing with somebody that kind of knows what they're doing, then you have somebody to model it for you. But I'll show you what it looks like with your arms and your 
your circle, your recovery leg coming through um, for basic position. All right? So this is with your arms together. So body position. Um, that's what it looks like from the front angle. I'm going to put this video to the side and um, show you at my feet and um, my knee position looks like from the side. So here we go. I still have Christmas up. So anyhow, that should get you started um, on basic position. Um, anyhow, I can do a lot more videos on um, more advanced position or intermediate or creating a little bit more power with angles. There's a lot um, to slideboard or home workouts for skating specific um, positioning and power um, that I can do. Um, but anyhow, I hope this gets you started and if you're working out with Glenn, um, hello everybody and um, I hope you get something out of it and um, just message me if you want anything more okay so keep tuned I'll be posting some more